Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, this is going to be a short but a very informative video regarding data analytics courses. So from past so many days, I've been receiving a lot of queries from a lot of you people on my comment section, even in my personal guidance and doubt training sessions regarding the clarity of data analytics courses. A lot of you people are confused whether is the future only analytics? Should you guys apply to any data analytics related course for your undergrad courses? Are you missing out on something and not and all those things? So don't worry guys, in this video, I will try covering each and everything regarding data analytics uh, some of the myths that I will burst I will also tell you guys whether which are the courses that you can apply for the best ROI possible and all these things so make sure you watch this video till the very end but before I get started you guys know the drill if you guys like this video please smash the like button if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon so that you guys can receive regular updates Let's get started guys. All right, so what is trending these days guys? I'm pretty sure so many of you people who are just finishing your class 12th have been hearing words like big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, decision science, or courses in this particular field like BB in decision science, or BB in business analytics, or BB in fintech, or data science and analytics, or you know data science and artificial intelligence on all these things. So yes guys, these are very trending terms uh, and they look very fancy. You just feel like, wow, somebody's making a lot of money with these things and then there is added things related to blockchain cryptos nfts and uh, everybody's trying to portray a story of rags to riches and you know a lot of the smart people are telling you guys that if you study this or if you have knowledge regarding that uh, you could be making tons of money and this is the best career and all these things some of that is true some of that is not true let's just try find out so guys what is the truth now the truth here is that yes data is the new oil uh, and data is something to treasure. A lot of the big companies that have made a lot of money have made it out of data, be it Facebook, be it Google. Along with that, there is a huge demand for data scientists. There is a huge demand for people having skill sets related to data analytics, its interpretation, uh, having skill sets related to decision science or something to do with artificial intelligence and machine learning. Another reality to this is that it is prevalent across sectors. That means data analytics is used across sectors, be it in marketing, you know, where you do market research for a particular product and then make decisions accordingly. Uh, it's also used in finance where you can be tracking like a stock price of a particular product uh, and then looking out or making decisions for that. It's even used in HR where you can be monitoring each person's performance index, you know, which is called KPIs, key performance indicators. You can be monitoring that and making decisions out of that. So it is prevalent across sector uh, and it is super important on that level. Another truth to all this is that it is open to all non-science students. So all you people who are coming from a humanities background or even from a commerce background but if have something related to probably like statistics, maths, economics, uh, you can be looking into this particular field. So it's nothing close guarded like oh only engineers can do or oh, only somebody who studied like a physics, chemistry uh, can do something related to data science or analytics or decision science. This is open to anybody from a normal commerce background, from an arts background uh, until unless some of them have got criteria maybe that you should have compulsory math or you should have compulsory statistics or you should have compulsory economics either of that could be true but in reality yes it is open to all non-science students coming to what should you do I have been receiving so many queries regarding it and I have always said one answer to everybody guys please do not get carried away with the hype uh, I always suggest students that yes I mean you know Christ has already opened up its Lavasa campus that has been made as the analytical hub NMIMS has also started offering courses relating to data analytics. Symbiosis has also started to do that. But that doesn't mean that you need to just get carried away with the hype or the new fad and you know just do what others are doing considering that it would have a great future. The reality is that yes, it is good, but please do your research and understand your strengths. Please understand that data analytics is no hunky-dory. It's not that, you know, uh, you sit in a fancy office and you make a lot of money. There is also a lot of work that goes behind it. You have to be learning software programs like R programming or SQL or Python. Uh, and at the same time, you need to be understanding, you know, whether, you're, whether you are made for these courses or this future or not. Are you okay with number crunching? Are you okay with, you know, being in front of various computer screens? and trying to make out meanings out of numbers if you guys can do that then probably this is your thing uh, and you should definitely go ahead with that for a lot of you people who do not think that no maybe sitting in front of the laptop for 10 12 hours is not your thing or maybe you would be more of a creative person who could do something with communications or maybe you know with marketing or with media then probably data analytics is not your thing 
for all those who think that it is your thing please find out colleges who are offering good data analytics courses and apply for that uh, guys only and only do it from good colleges and good courses wherein you know that you would get quality because i think every second person third person today is offering some data analytics related course uh, and i'm not really sure how many of it are, how many of it is actually very worth it uh, but yeah make sure that you're applying it to good colleges along with that for all those people who really like analytics but are not really sure or whether you should be pursuing a course related to that like a full-time undergrad course what you guys can do is you guys can do a normal bba or a bcom or any course that you want to and at the same time you guys can look out for alternative free courses or free resources that you can use in order to side by side make it a side hustle and start learning about data analytics or you know artificial intelligence or machine learning all these things so it's not compulsory for you people to just you know go only for like a three year four year full-time course to do really well what if you do like a normal bba and then you know on the side you are also learning about data analytics and later on you can use that in terms of leveraging and getting a good internship or a job later on and building up your career accordingly yes guys that's about it for this particular video thank you so much for watching this video if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button along with that if you have any doubts you guys can reach out to me personally for my personal guidance and doubt training session i will be putting down the link in the description for that so make sure you check it out uh, along with that guys thank you so much for all the love my channel is growing a lot uh, but do make sure that you are sharing this video as well and subscribing if you haven't already thank you so much guys i'll see you soon with another video take care guys bye bye